teaching you how to draw something like this. If you don't know who this is, it's Spongebob. What you're going to need for this drawing is a pencil and a rubber. I'm not using the pencil end, I'm just using the rubber end because I don't have another rubber. And if you want to colour, you can get some coloured pencils as well. Hi guys, if you didn't watch the intro or didn't hear what I said, my name is Summer and I do drawing videos. So this is my very first video, so I hope you get a few likes from this. Even one like will help. So I'm going to teach you how to draw Spongebob. Okay, so first what you want to do is draw a line kind of like this, kind of curvy, like that. Next to that, you want to draw a second one. Just like that. Join those together at the top and bottom. Should look like this. Next, join this line and go up a little bit, kind of on a curve. Kind of on a curve, kind of not, but do that. Then next to that, you want to add another curve like this. Don't mind how it looks straight right now. We're going to fix that at the end. Okay, next you probably know what to do. You just have to join that bit. So it should like kind of look like a sponge or like a curvy kind of box type thing. Next, right here, you want to do a circle. Like that. But neater than mine. Next to that, do another one, but instead, not right next to it like that. You want to do it like that. So it's kind of connected to that. I'm going to fix mine. That's why you use a rubber. Okay, fix mine. Oh. Next, if you don't know, um, SpongeBob has three eyelashes on top of his eyes. So you want to do those. Sorry, mine's kind of bad because I'm drawing off the camera. I'm watching on the camera. But you want to do like three lines like that. Next, inside of your circles, you want to do one larger one. Just like that. And then do it on the other side as well. Oh, that's kind of bad. I'll fix it. <laughs> Start just blowing off the um, stuff. Next, inside of that circle, you want to do another one. Ooh, that was really bad. I'm definitely fixing that. But not like how I did this one. Kind of make it smaller and stuff. And then you can colour those black. But I'm going to wait till the end with my coloured pencils. Next, do a curve kind of thingy like that. But like way skinnier. Then from there you want to do a curve like that. Then join down. Then back up. Then, join that to here. Next, for the teeth, you'll want to do like a curved kind of one for this first one. And for the next one, you just want to do a normal kind of shape. Mine looks really weird. Now at the bottom here, this is for the clothing, you want to join lines like that. Oh, mine's not straight. Again, I am watching the camera. While I'm doing this, I'm actually looking at the paper, so it's kind of hard. But next, you want to do these kind of triangle shapes like that. Then, you want to do kind of a square and a triangle like that. Then underneath, add one more line for the pants underneath. Oh, and this is going to be Spongebob, like, bobbing out of a hole, by the way. So, around him, um, you're going to do a hole that looks like that. <laughs> Oopsies. I'll be back once I fix that. Okay, now we're going to do the arms. So, oh. So, what you want to do is do two lines like that. Then you want to make them go up like that. Oh, I missed it. Up like that, kind of. And then for the other side, don't make it join like that. Make it join on the side. Like that.
just like that. And then for the hands, you want to do a stick, then go under, stick, under, stick, under, and stick. He only has four fingers, so yeah, hold on, let me focus it. Okay, now you want to do stick again and repeat that process on the other side. Then you can add some squiggly lines like that and erase the um, straight line. Then add some decoration around him. I'm going to do some seaweed. And then if you watch, if you search up like a background for Spongebob, you'll see that he has that weird star thing. So that's what I'm going to draw. When we're done, you should have something like this. I'm going to colour it. Wait there. Oh, and before you do these two lines, do this kind of shape and then a little line here for the sleeve. Sorry, I forgot to say. Okay, sorry, while well, I was doing that speed video, I actually we stopped the lines. Yeah, I'm stupid. But once you're finished colouring, it should look like something like this. It doesn't have to look like this. You can do it like this, or you can do it your own style. I know if you've seen Spongebob, it does not look like this. I just wanted to be creative, and yeah, I did put seaweed. Um, and he is coming out of a hole. I'm going to fix that. But I hope you enjoyed it. Bye.